things I see, and, and, and it's the, one of the most important parts of this single wrist flare ride, is that I've really got to get my hips up into this guy. You guys are doing a pretty good job of, of jamming and collapsing and collecting because we do a lot of tilts here. And I know this knee change, kind of backside flank step up's a little different feel for some of you guys. Because it feels like I'm giving this guy my leg. But you see if I'm, I'm shifted back here, I don't have any pressure forward. That's where we got to point this elbow over the shoulder. And again, I'm not pulling the wrist out. The wrist is staying right here in this little pocket. And this hand's just hanging out right here. It's not really grabbing. I mean, you can collapse and, and come inside, but this hand's just hanging out for now, all right? But I gotta step up and shelf and point that elbow. That's where the pressure's coming from. See how my chest is starting to get over his shoulders? And I'm just walking. I'm staying on my knee right now so I don't put too much weight on it. And imagine when he's really staying tough on that hand, and I'm, dri I'm driving both feet. See how I twisted him down to his hip? Then I'm going to my tight waist tilt. Just catching that bottom hip bone. Now, second thing we're struggling with is we're not scooping perpendicular. We're scooping and kind of rolling parallel, okay? That's not gonna work. We're, we're, we're big on tilts in here. We spend a lot of time on tilts. Bottom knee scoops and I get them off perpendicular. I got that nice tight waist and I'm, I'm super kicking all the way across to the far knee, okay? Now, once we get that tilt, Right? Or we're really running it hard to the left side, you might see them start fighting down to their backside hip. When they fight down to their backside hip, we got a lot more options on that side too. We got, we got quite a few options to the left side, but a lot of times when we're really trying to take them to that hip, they're gonna fight that opposite hip down. So we wanna feel that, that change in pressure. So we're even double, double thigh prior spiral. Spiral seems to be more efficient. So coming in chop, collecting, fatty part of the hand, right here, don't grab the wrist, okay? Fatty part of the hand, I'm just scooping, collecting, knee changing, shelfing up tall. Don't be shifted back. When you shift up front, boom, your chest is up tall right here. Then we're pointing that elbow on the shoulder. Circle, 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 put him down to a hip. Now as I start to circle, come back up to your base. As I start to shelf and circle and put him down to this hip, sometimes I'll fight down to that backside hip. There. Okay, they fight down to that backside hip. I got a couple options with my backside hand. Still at the wrist, okay? I can come under and hook, or I can come over and get the wrist, okay? I can come under and hook the shoulder, or I can attack the wrist. I'm gonna get the same result. If I hook right here and keep my shelf, so if I see this, got my shelf right here. Now, just like when we run our bars, we don't keep going and end up here. He's sitting up, I'm all stretched out, all that stuff. When we start, when he goes opposite hip down and we just keep running our single wrist to the head, we're gonna kind of sprawl a little bit and make sure we're not going too far over the top. All right, double thigh fry jam, inside chop, knee chain shelf. I got my single wrist. Don't just stay right here. Get that elbow on top of the shoulder. It's not illegal, okay? I got everything secure. His hand's not on his back. Everything's nice and close to his body. Circle, circle, circle. Then he goes outside, hip down, tries to fight. Okay, I'm gonna stay shelf right here. I can either come under the arm or capture the wrist, doesn't matter. So we circle, circle, circle. Everybody see this? When I get to this position right here, don't keep going. Scroll a little bit and adjust right here. Then take him over the top, okay? See how I got him buried right here? I can post my head, but I'm not all the way over here trying to pin the guy, all right? We'll do that a lot of time with bars, get flat. We did, we did a lot of bars a couple weeks ago, and that was one of the things we talked about, guys running bars around the head and sitting up here, and this guy not getting, not getting, not getting any type of pressure on his attempt, okay? And if you wanna practice this to both sides, by all means, practice it to both sides. Double th Double thigh prior spiral. Chopping inside, collecting the wrist, knee change. Big shelf in front. Make sure you're getting your chest up in front too. Here, 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 circling. He goes outside wrist, right here. When he gets to outside, when he goes outside hip, either come to the wrist or the shoulder, and I'm continuing to run the shelf, okay? Continue to run the shelf in this position. Right, continue to sprawl back. You lose the wrist, you can change up to a half here. 
really doesn't matter. I got him broke to 90. Okay? But if I can keep this wrist, get this nice tight part right here, it's even better. If you lose the wrist, you switch to the half, start working for your fall there as well. Alright? We we'll have opportunities to throw our legs in. If he wings down and we roll through, we can end up a little crab leg position. But play with that shelf, running them around the head, and they're going opposite hip down. When they go opposite hip down, be a really good shape to score there. Questions? All right, play there, go.